is a win that is not one nil. 20 seconds, Devin Jovicic fires in the cross for Alberto Gilardino. 22nd minute, but that one not near the mark. 24th minute, Kaká holds up the ball. Matthew Flamini with the drive. Caught a little bit of the iron as it's headed out. Close, not quite. 28th minute, Gianluca Sambrazza holds his ball in. Steps inside for the stroke. Sebastian Frey turns it away. 48th, the diagonal ball down for Gilardino. He's going to try this one off his inside foot, and the curl is not quite enough as he can't slice it into that far corner. 55th, Sembrosa racing up the right side for Pipo Inzaghi. Rebound to Kaká. Pretty nice defensive effort to stop Pipo, but not so after that. It's 1-0 Milan. Don't forget the Gold cup Cup's coming up July 4th. 2076, Alexander Paco waits and takes off. Onside, chips it back to the right, and it is 2-0. Milan. David Beckham then subbed off. It's his last game with AC Milan before he returns to the Galaxy. He says July 11th. And the last game for 40-year-old Paolo Maldini. 902 appearances in 24 seasons in Milan. Got a standing ovation from the crowd and from Fiorentina as well. Juventus were looking to snatch second from Milan when they played against Lazio on Sunday. Uh, Juve playing in the uh, black and white strip on the day. Claudio Marchisio, the uh, lead ball here for Vincenzo Iacuita, and uh, Juan Pablo Carrizo comes out, but no, the ball rolls underneath and in third minute goal. Juventus then looking for more. Alessandro Del Piero on the far side. He'll send in the cross, and defender Giorgio Chiellini takes it over the bar in the sixth. Now it's Lazio, Pasquale Foggia keeping it and uh, holds on and then has a strike on goal. Gigi Buffon with the save. 24th minute. Still in the first, and Pavel Medved, who said on Saturday he would not return to Juventus, he'll send the ball in front, deep from the left side. Iacuita sets up El Quintericcio, and the right kick is over the rack. 1-0 to Juve at the break. Second half, and it's Juve again. Mauro Camonarese, the cross from the right, collected by Medved, and then the wicked strike bends that one over the bar. More Juve in the lead ball for Medved as uh, he breaks his stride but uh, continues to collect the ball. The Aquinta just keeps on running and Medved hits him. That goal in the 59th to make it 2 0. Juve will take the win. Medved gets the hug. 326 appearances for Juve. He's linked to a move back to Lazio for next season. Torino's three-year stint in City A came to an end after they lost away to Roma on Sunday. Torino had the toughest task of any of the relegation-threatened sides needing to beat Roma and uh, to have Bologna lose their game and then hopefully make up the goal difference as well. They tripped at the first hurdle. Torino's uh, three-year stint, well, it was a good run for them, but they needed the win to stay up. The relegation downside were playing at Stadio Olimpico in the white strip. And a good start for them off the corner. The clearance falls to Tommaso. Velati and uh, skips it underneath Keeper Arcour. Ninth minute goal, but Roma were not going to let this game get away from them. Francesco Totti to Jeremy Menez. And he rips the top side past Matteo Sarini. The left footed goal in the 35th minute and through the top corner. Torino's uh, Nicola Ventola collects and then he'll get past the last defender and he'll break. And then he sizzles a strike towards goal. Arcour scores with his gloves to save that one. Roma would then take the lead on a softy. Mirko Vucinic, total 74. And desperate, Torino trying to respond off a free kick. Dennis Donofrio sends it into the mix to push. Then they head her off the crossbar. 83rd, trouble for Torino. Ivan Franceschini sent off and bundling into the back of Marco Cassetti. And Totti converts for his 178th goal in 419 games, matching Gian Piero. Tony Percy's record. Ventola made it a less embarrassing scoreline. Donofrio the cross from the right. In the end, Roma secured six. And Torino secured their bus ticket down to Serie B. Bologna, Catania. And Bologna came in tied with Torino, knowing that one of them will be relegated. So it was a just a tense day for Bologna. On the run in the early stages. Whipping through three defenders. It's Marco Dubaio up on the right-hand side. But Pablo Acerbis. Charging out to make the stop. That is 
very, very early stages of the game. Fifth minute, Nicola Mingazzini takes a long shot. Strange bounce off a gopher or something. It's in, and it's 1-0 to Bologna. 26 off the corner. It's Claudio Perizzi. The defender can't make the block on the line, and it's 2-0 Bologna. Giacomo Tedesco trying his best to nod this one away, but he cannot deny Terzi. He was wide open for that header. Second half, DiVaio chases it down, fires it out of service. It's a nice save in tight. That ball coming high and hard. 50th minute, Catania again in, out, in, stop. Finally, Takayuki Morimoto puts Catania on the board. It's 2-1. Francesco Antonioni makes a good save on the first one. He ain't getting to that second one. 68, DiVaio challenging two defenders and then crossing up the keeper. 24th in the season for him. Bologna wins at 3-1 and saves to play a second season in Serie A. We're not done with the Manos Rex. As they had the title secured for some time. There would be more hard work for the champs as Zlatan Ibrahimovic is in the running for the league's top goal scorer. A couple would certainly help as Inter takes on Atalanta. Of course, as the champions, they get to stand there while they make the other team walk. You know, higher amount, that's one of the benefits. Luis Figo on the wing, six minutes, fires this one across, deflected and laying there for Sully Montari. 1-0 Inter Milan, 10th minute, takes that one back. Tiberio Guarente delivers the ball. Cristiano Zoni takes advantage of that pinpoint pass. Make it 1-1. Inter not waiting long to respond. 12th minute, Zlatan is somehow onside, and he is definitely on target, giving Inter the lead back. It is 2-1, 25th minute, Atlanta's turn again. The cross is cleared to Luca Gigarini with a fantastic shot for the second goal. Make it 2-2. Inter pulled Figo off before halftime to get him a well-deserved standing ovation. Four Serie A titles and a World Player of the Year crown for the 36-year-old. Post-Figo era not going well. Donny straight into goal in the 53rd. It's 3-2 Atalanta. But these are the defending and once again champions. Corner in the 80th. Montari, Montari stopped and fumbled. Esteban Cambiasso follows it up. Make it 3-3. And a minute later, Zlatan will stiff arm a defender and score probably his second best goal of the season. Come on. 4-3 Inter is the final what goal. They end the season on a winning note. Get a nice trophy. Jose Mourinho's first Serie A title. Stadio Luigi Ferrari, high-flying Genoa hosts the relegation-bound Lecce. Uh, four seasons ago, Genoa, Serie B, now they qualify for Europe next season. Way to go. Uh, Genoa in dark, Socrates, Papas, Kakopoulos, connects with Bosco Jankovic, and uh, he puts that past Antonio Rosati, 22nd minute. Lecce get that back. Simeone, Tudibolki, off the post from behind Alessio Scarpi. All right, 1-1 one, one after 32. Diego Melito weaves his way through in the short back pass to Domenico Buschito. And that made it 2-1 after 52. This is a big game for Melito. His last game as well. Marks his departure with the goal. Giuseppe Cooley to Melito. 56 minutes. That made it 3-1. He's off to Inter next season along with Thiago Mata. Genoa, we're rolling now. Anthony Van den Bore hits Melito with the through pass. 24th of the season. What a way to celebrate. Two goals and an assist. Good, perfect send-off to the Argentine. He's going to be replaced next season with another Argentine, Hernan Crespo. Genoa win. Final 4-1. And the honor of being the final Serie A highlight pack of this season. Udinese and Cagliari. Congratulations, gentlemen. Working the ball around is Udinese in the tent. Quadro Asamoa will appear as if from nowhere and stroke it. Second goal of the season for the young midfielder. It's 1 0 Udinese. Bad turnover leading to Udinese's second. Just a minute after that goal, Simone Pepe with a key. Make it 2 0. It would become 3 0 in the 15th thanks to Antonio Floro Flores. Of course, the goal coach helping out with this one as well. 3 0 Udinese to break. Other side of that break, Christian Zapata takes out Roberto Aquafresca. Aquafresca to the spot. He will do it himself, make it 3-1. That lit a bit of a fire under Cagliari. Two minutes later, 
Andrea Cosu to Andrea Parola. Loses his man, falling down, and Parola steps in. It is 3-2, but a minute after that, Udinese has had enough of this tension that's building up. Giovanni Pasquale, nice little tip around the defender. Make it 4-2. 81st minute, Udinese again. Fabio Quagliarella showing some patience. Pounding it in. Make it 5-2. Then a minute before time, Odion Igalo slips through. Scores his first clearly bad goal. As Udinese runs to the 6-2 win. He probably has shown a 